Hi, I'm Brianna Bowley, and I'm here on the online prosperity show, talking all things the Live Free movement and how you can go out and create the life of your dreams. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got the human potential coach herself, Brianna. Brianna, how are you doing, my love? Great, thanks. And yourself? Fantastic. Now, obviously, for those that are watching right now, um, just a bit of background. Every single day, we're always bringing in experts like Brianna who are going out of their way to make sure that the world we live in is a better place. Now, her speciality is basically making the word impossible a dirty word, right? So that's a really big mission in as much as a lot of us um, try to do a lot of things in life, but we seem to fail only because maybe we are not self-aware of what we're supposed to be doing. Maybe we lack the self-love or the actual potential to be, do, and have either a life that's worth living or a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So that's the reason why we bring in you know, people like Brianna that are working with some heavy names, like literally in the UFC and you know some speakers and coaches out there that um, you know really wanting to uh, reach their maximum potential. So you too can also learn from Brianna today what it takes to be, do, and have a life that is full. Now, Brianna, did I say any of that right? Yes, you nailed it. <laughs> Absolutely. Now. Obviously, this is something that is a passion of yours, but it wasn't always like this. Take us back to a time when, you know, you started all this and why you thought you would be the career of the message of human potential. So for me, um, I guess my background has been quite an interesting one. I come from, you know, drug abuse. I come from body image struggles, uh, eating disorders, um, you know, quite, yeah, quite a heavy number of things which sort of led me into really um, studying human behaviour and trying to understand why all of these things were happening to me. Um, and what I came to realise was that that was almost building a strong foundation for me to really step it up and create something really incredible of my life. I really do believe that uh, when you've kind of come from a bit of a hole, that actually almost serves as a stepping stone to create something even greater. So um, having come from that background, I wanted to show people who maybe are going through the same or something similar that um, there's absolutely nothing that's out of your reach regardless of where you've come from. So, yeah. I understand. Well, thank you so much, uh, you know, for sharing that part of your history. I mean, obviously, it might have been a heavy um, upbringing, but it has actually become the stepping stone, like you say, of what um, has, you know, has become, you know, the freedom movement or the, the movement that you are actually, I mean, the leave free movement that you have started for a lot of people there. Now, Brianna, obviously, you do raise a valid point. Nobody is really brought up. I mean, there's a fair few that are brought up with a silver spoon. We are brought up in normal families. And by normal, I'm actually talking about, you know, parents are working. Um, we've got people around us that are subjecting us to all sorts of drugs, alcohol, and whatever abuse that you're talking about. And people seem to feel like that then becomes the norm. What got you? to actually see that this was not what was meant for you and actually yearn and strive for a whole lot more, um, you know, than what you was happening in your environment at that particular time. <sighs> it's been a bit of a journey. I don't think there was one particular thing that sort of clicked it for me, but I guess because I did come from such a dark place, um, you know, and I, I was at a stage in my life where I was wondering, um, what's the point, you know? Um, there was suicide thoughts, depression, you know, anxiety. Um, I struggled to get out of bed in the morning. Um, and I just found myself thinking there's so much more to life. So sort of, I suppose I got, I got digging for something more because I realised there had to be something more. Understandable. And in the process, you figured out that you wanted to create a world where the term impossible 
became a dirty word. Can you just walk us through what that actually means to you and what you want it to look like? Well, I guess for me, my message is that no matter, no matter where you've come from, you can always create something new for yourself. So, so I want people to recognise that whatever they want for themselves, whatever their dream life is, um, it's never outside of their reach. You know, it's never impossible. It just comes down to being willing to take responsibility for the results that show up in your life, um, taking responsibility for um, the part you've played in creating the reality that you're currently in. Um, and recognizing that within that responsibility, there's a certain level of power, which means that moving forward, you can create something new for yourself without any limitations. Understandable. So with the life that we live in, there's a lot of media that, first of all, makes people feel very inadequate. All right. Um, you know, we watch TV uh, and we watch MasterChef and all we notice is people that are competent in cooking being yelled at and screamed at as being inadequate. So that naturally puts us in a position of we can't be able to do that because if they can't, you know, with their level of expertise, how can I? Now, there's a lot of people that stop dead in their tracks based on that. First of all, there's no self-love and self-awareness. How do you help people go from them not actually believing in themselves and literally becoming champions like the people that you're helping uh, in your business right now? I guess it's about showing people that the self-doubt's always going to be there. The struggle's always going to be there. The challenges are always going, going to be there, um, perhaps on different levels, depending on where you're at. But I know for me, I still have moments of self-doubt. I'm sure you do as well. Um, but it's just recognizing that I guess for me, I truly believe that the purpose of life is not to be happy. The purpose of life is to grow. So when those challenges and those doubts and those fears and those I'm not good enough pop up, it's about seeing and looking at it in a way that you recognize that that's about growing you. And when you're coming from an inspired place and a place of alignment and a place of purpose, those doubts and those fears should serve as a stepping stone to better yourself, to continuously step up and to build on the doubts, um, you know, to build something even more powerful and even more expansive for yourself based on those fears and those doubts and those I'm not good enough. And, yeah, sort of using them to propel yourself forward rather than allowing them to hold you back. So for me, I just, you know, the work I do is about shifting people's perceptions um, to get them to see that, there's nothing wrong with having those thoughts. There's nothing wrong with thinking I'm not enough or, you know, I'm not, I don't have enough money or I don't have enough time or whatever it may be. We all have those thoughts. We all feel it at some, some stage. So yeah, it's just building on that rather than seeing it as a hindrance. Understandable. So a lot of people, if they knew what to do, they would get themselves out of that situation. So is there certain things that you advise people that you probably are starting to work with? Um, you know, they're probably in a rut, but they don't know how to get themselves out of it. They know this is not what it's meant to be, but you know, there could be a few steps that you can um, outline to somebody who's just really, really stuck at the moment and is, you know, lacking that self love or that self confidence that you're talking about. Yeah, absolutely. So I would recommend, write down exactly what the problem is. What's holding you back at the moment? Is it the belief, you know, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough money, I'm not good enough, what, pe what will people think? Whatever the main sort of barrier is, write down, uh, sorry, sorry, write that down and then write down a list of how having that belief system is actually of benefit to you. Because when you can see how having that belief or having that block is actually of service to your higher mission, you'll just smash through the barriers. Understandable. And what is it costing people to actually not look into, you know, making themselves live limitless? Everything. The life of their dreams. Um, I think it's really sad. You know, I, I meet with people often who tell me these incredible visions they have for, for not only themselves, but for the world. But 
instead they're allowing you know fear of of not being enough on on whatever level uh they're allowing that to hold them back and it's heartbreaking it's heartbreaking that the world doesn't get to experience their uh unique unique humanness unique vision understandable because obviously brianna as you would acknowledge people are here to leave they're here to learn and here to contribute and it is in the contribution phase that you know you actually do find fulfillment and a will to leave and um you know you know really want to be of um assistance to other human beings now is there any sort of you know part of learning that you can recommend um you know that maybe you went through that shifted your perspective or maybe these books or certain um you know exercises that people can undertake in order for them to be doing have um that you know sort of live free um existence that you you are you are supporting that absolutely um i really recommend starting a journal so having you know the first place to start in really creating what you desire for your life is having a level of self-awareness and that starts with becoming aware of the thoughts you're having of some of your belief systems so doing things like um i call them brain farts so sitting down and you know writing down what it is that's going on in your head there doesn't have to be a structure to it it's just getting the mess out and putting it down on paper because more often than not, when you can sit down and actually read back over what you've, again, brain farted, um, you sort of start to see patterns and you start to see some of the belief systems that are in place that are holding you back from um, creating what it is that you want. I also recommend in terms of reading material, um, a book called The Breakthrough Experience by Dr. John Demartini. Uh, that completely changed my life and led me to um, a new paradigm of seeing that nothing is ever in the way, everything's on the way. You know, nothing ever happens to us, everything always happens for us. Oh, that's a really profound statement because a lot of people would think that because they're stuck in traffic, why does it always happen to me? But maybe they're being saved from an accident or some predicament that could happen, you know, three or four cars away from them. So people really need to um, figure out that part. Now, you. Um, have a movement that you are, you know, taking people through, which is the um, Live Free movement. And somebody would have been listening to your um, interview right now and figured out you came in from a drug abuse past and you had body images, uh, but now you look as amazing as you want to be. And also we have, you know, all the, you know, um, human behavior stuff that you've learned and the books that you've recommended. If somebody really wants to maybe get in touch and learn a little bit more from you, what's the best way that they can possibly get a hold of you? Uh, so you can find me on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat under Brianna Bowley. So that's B-R-I-A-N-A -A Bowley, B-O-W-L-E-Y. Um, I don't use a website at this stage. So yeah, social media is the best way. Feel free to just shoot me an inbox or shoot me a comment and yeah, we can have a chat. Great stuff. So you did mention earlier on there, uh, Brianna, that the purpose of life really is to grow. Now you are also going to be growing within your business. What are we to expect um, from the Leave Free movement? Big things. So uh, currently you mentioned before that I'm working with uh, a UFC fighter. Um, so paired with her, we're, um, we're planning to take over the flyweight division. Um, on top of that, I've just brought out a new podcast. So um, the Live Free Experience. So check that one out. Um, but honestly, the, um, yeah, there's no, there's no limit on it. So I think you'll all be seeing a lot more of me. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time, your story, and especially your expertise on the show today. It was really, really, um, you know, uh, pleasurable to hear from you and also grow with you as you go along. Thank you so much, Brianna. Thank you. Fantastic.